Well, the River City Food Bank is hosting its annual Empty Bowls event. It's a two-day event with gourmet soup from local restaurants. And here to tell us more about it, Eileen Thomas from the River City Food Bank. Thanks for coming in. You brought some beautiful yeah. bowls. And yes. Michael, Chef Michael Tiemann from the restaurant Mother in Sacramento. you got to have something to put into those bowls, right? Yeah, soup. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that would be good, yeah, for this event. So the bowls are really beautiful. Tell us where they all come from. Um, they come from a variety of sources. We have some from potters who are professional here in Sacramento. Um, and uh, this is a this is a Mary Claussen bowl, and this is a Terry Accomando bowl. This is a John Rager bowl, and then we also have wood bowls coming from the NorCal Wood Turners um, group. They've um, given us almost 300 wow. of wooden bowls in so various sizes. So when you walk sizes. in, do you pick a bowl? You just choose one. That's you like? right. So the price of your admission ticket allows you to pick up a bowl that sings to you, that plays mm -hmm. to your heart, and then you get to take that home as a reminder of all the empty bowls that we have in our community because of food insecurity. So once you pick your bowl, of course, you got to fill it, Michael, and that's where you come in. So yeah, you yeah, it absolutely. Um, well, it, it, this is one of the charity events I really care about, like food insecurity and, and, and uh, the food bank, uh, River City Food Bank, it's super important um, to me. Uh, it's humbling. You know, to uh, especially being a restaurant owner and mm -hmm. being surrounded by a bunch of food and it's easily accessible and it's always been in my life. Um, to hear that it's not, um, it's, it's, you know, it's eye-opening. Um, and so this particular soup is? Well, uh, I, I brought a, a vegetarian version of pozole, um, a, a Mexican soup dish, usually based off pork, um, which a lot of good things uh, start with pork. But um, I own a vegetarian restaurant, so this is our vegetarian version. Um, mostly it starts over here. Uh, to dry chilies and 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 oregano, um, some tomatoes, and then uh, a little bit of cumin. You you boil it, make a puree, mm -hmm. and then uh, add hominis. And uh, it's all about the toppings, in my my opinion. I so. agree. And with the chips, you get the nice crunch in there yeah, too. Which yeah, is yeah, nice. and fresh radishes, cotija. Um, I have little baby corn, um, some uh, avocado. Uh, cabbage. So super colorful and once yeah. you get all that stuff in there it's really filling as well. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Wonderful. Um, well that is a fantastic soup and I know a lot of people would like to get involved in this. It's a two-day event mm -hmm. and how important is it for you in terms of the fundraising that you do for the food bank? It's very important for us. It feeds our programs and helps us to continue to give the service to those in the community who are in need. And when is the event? So the event is Monday night, um, March 14th, and Tuesday at lunch on March 15th. And how do people get involved if they'd like to go? They can go right online to our website at uh, www.rivercityfoodbank.org and um, they can purchase tickets there. They can also get tickets at the Avid Reader okay. in, um, off Broadway and um, Trinity Cathedral Bookshop. And how many people are you expecting or can you have? Well, we're that? hoping for around uh, 600 at the evening event and our um, day event w can accommodate 600 at each seating. And how many different restaurants are gonna be preparing food for you? There are about eight different restaurants who are preparing food for us, and including Mother's. We're very excited about Mother being there. Great, soup is on. It is. And how? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming in today.